up you guys, it's Judy here with my life as Geek Guy. On this channel, I create videos on product reviews, makeup tutorials, and lifestyle advice with the aim to entertain, educate, and enrich the lives of others. So if you're new here, please consider subscribing. I would love for you to join the Geek Guy family. And if you're returning here to my channel, then welcome. I have a very special guest here with me today. This is Cam, my friend. In today's video, I'm gonna be doing Cam's makeup. Cam has a party that he's going to on Friday night, and he wants a few tips and tricks on how to apply some makeup. So basically this video is me trying to help my friend out and show him what different products are for. Cam's a little bit of a beginner in makeup so through this video I'm going to be doing a voiceover in explaining the steps that I do and hopefully, hopefully try and make it helpful and educational to Cam and those of you who might be watching this video. So if you want to see how I create this look on Cam right here then just keep on watching. Before I go any further into this video if you guys do enjoy my content then please be sure to give the video a thumbs up and subscribe before you leave if you haven't already. I do put new videos out every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, so be sure to turn on the notification bell if you don't want to miss any of those future uploads. Without further ado, let's just get straight into this video. So I'm going to start off by priming Cam's eyelids. I'm using the 24 hour concealer pomade by L'Oreal and I'm just using a brush to apply this thoroughly to his eyelids. I'm using a brush so that I can cover every little nook and cranny on his eyelids and cover all the bases. Next I'm using a translucent setting powder to set all of that down just to provide me with as smooth of a base as I can for the eyeshadows that I'm going to be blending on top. Now I'm going to be taking my Morphe and Kathleen Lights eyeshadow palette. This one is my absolute favorite. As you can see, it's pretty beat up. I'm going to be taking that tan eyeshadow and just blending that into Cam's crease. I'm really using that color to blend out from the inner to the outer corners of his crease just to provide myself a smooth color of transition. Now I'm going to go into that next darker brown shade in the palette and I'm going to now focus this color on the outer part of his transition and blend it down toward his outer part of his eye. I'm just really taking my time with this color and really blending it in into his crease just to provide myself a smooth and seamless base for the other shadows that I will be applying on top. Next I'm going to go into that dark slate gray sort of color and I'm going to be focusing this color on the outer V of Cam's eye. This is just to provide myself some depth and shading and give his eye a little bit more shape. First I'm laying that color down on the outer part of his eye and as the pigment leaves the brush I am gently patting and taking it up slightly into his crease as well but not going up any higher than his crease. Again I'm just taking my time patting and blending that color down. Next I'm going to be taking my NYX Glitter Primer and using this to apply on the inner corners of Cam's eye. This is to provide a sticky base for this vibrant green shimmery shade that I'm now going to be patting and applying to where I apply that, that NYX Glitter Primer glue. Again taking my time patting and laying down that color. I'm taking more of that NYX Glitter Primer and applying that all over the center part of the eyelid. And then I'm going to go into that shimmery creamy shade and focus that color on the center of the eyelid. Again, taking my time with the shade, I am pressing and patting that color down on the center of the eyelid and almost working it into the skin. Next, I'm taking a tiny, very, very light little bit of black and very gently patting that on the outer part of the eye just to provide some depth and dimension to the look. Again, when I'm using black, I'm just only taking very, very tiny little bits at a time and building it up. Black is a color that is very, very difficult to remove once you've applied too much. So my rule of thumb is always to go with a little bit first and apply as needed. Next, I'm taking a bit of makeup remover on a cotton pad and I'm cleaning up 
all that eyeshadow fallout from under Cam's eyes. I'm providing myself with a clean base for the primer and foundation that is to follow. Now I'm going in with some primer. I'm using the L'Oreal Infallible Mattifying Primer. I really like the consistency of this primer. He had a fair bit of fine lines and smile lines around his face. So using this primer, which has a very silicone type of feel to it, I found it was appropriate for Cam's look for today. So I'm just using a little bit of that primer in all the areas that needed a little bit more of pore filling or line filling. Now I'm going to go in with some foundation. For this particular look, I used the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Foundation. I didn't go in with too much because Cam already had some really, really nice skin. So I just used a little bit of that and blended that just to even out his skin tone. And then wherever Cam needed the extra coverage, I just went in with my RCMA Artistry Foundation Slash Cream Concealer Palette. And I used some of the shades in there just to spot conceal or add a little bit more coverage where I found it was necessary. I then went in with that same little brush and went in with more foundation in the areas where I felt Cam needed a little bit more coverage, but I am not doing a whole nother layer of foundation on his entire face, only in the areas that needed it. And then with a makeup sponge, I just patted all of that in even further into the skin, just trying to blend all of that to melt into one. I then went in with that cooler contour sort of shade in the RCMA palette, and I used that to contour Cam's face. Now Cam already has a very slight, slim face, so I didn't need to go in with a whole lot of shading on his face. I just used a tiny little bit of that contour shade around his cheeks, down his neck, to give him a little bit more shade and dimension, but not trying to make him look sunken in. And then I went in with some RCMA translucent no color powder to set all of that down. Next, I went in with some bronzer. I used the Morphe bronzer palette for this. And again, Cam doesn't need a whole lot of shading in his cheeks since he had already really nice bone and cheek structure. So I just used that bronzer to warm up his face and to provide a little bit more life since he was looking a little bit washed out from the foundation base. I'm taking that bronzer and blending it around his cheeks, on his forehead and down his neck. Next, I went in with some blush and I used the Morphe Blush Palette and I just used that to warm up Cam's cheeks, a little bit on his nose and on his forehead and a little bit on his chin as well. Now I'm going in with some eyeliner. I used the Maybelline Master Graphic Eyeliner for this. Unfortunately, this eyeliner is discontinued but I have been able to find a listing for it on Amazon where I continue to get it from. I find it so incredibly easy to apply eyeliner using this product. And I really hope that once it runs out, I'll be able to find a dupe for it. Then I'm going in with a forest green cream gel eyeliner in his waterline. Having eyeliner in Cam's waterline was a little bit of a foreign sensation for him, so that's why he was laughing and I just tried to take my time and be as gentle as I possibly could. Next, I'm going into those two shades right there from the palette and I'm just blending them together under Cam's lower lash line. Now I'm taking that Deep Forest Army sort of green. It's an absolutely beautiful green. In the pan it doesn't look like very much but when you swatch it and when I applied it on top of that bright shimmery green it just blended down into a beautiful mellow type of green which I felt was a little bit more appropriate for this look. Next I'm taking that shimmery white shade and using that to highlight on the inner corners of his eyes. I'm also highlighting a little bit under his brow bone Next, I'm going in with some mascara. I used the L'Oreal Lash Paradise Mascara, and I actually am so jealous of Cam's eyelashes. We were planning on using falsies for this look, but honestly, Cam did not need falsies. His eyelashes were so long, like he had eyelash extensions, and I'm so jealous. We really only needed to do about two layers of mascara, and he literally looked like he had falsies on. It was so good. Now Cam really wanted that ombre type of look, so I went in with a darker, rosy shaded lip liner. 
And then over the top of that, I used an LA Girl lip tint, which was a little bit more lighter in color to provide Cam that ombre sort of lip look that he really liked. And then over the center of that, I went in with the Ofra Cosmetics Long Lasting Liquid Lipstick in the shade Wonderland and applied that right to the center of Cam's lips just to give him that shimmery, out there, ombre type of lip that he actually really liked. So I went in with that. It's a beautiful pinky purpley type of shimmer that applied really beautifully over the top of the base that we already had going on right there. I set all of that down with my Morphe Setting Mist. And then over the top of that, I went in with some Ofra Cosmetics highlighter in the shade Rodeo Drive. It's such a beautiful highlight. Not chunky or glittery, just perfect for the look that we had going on right here. I applied a little bit of that to his chin, a little bit on his nose, and a tiny little bit on his forehead, just to give him some luminescence and glow. And that's it for the makeup tutorial. If you guys have any questions about this look, then please feel free to leave them in the comment section down below and I will definitely get back to you. that is it for this video if you enjoyed it please give it a thumbs up and be sure to subscribe before you leave if you haven't already I do put new videos out every Monday Wednesday and Friday so be sure to turn on that notification bell if you don't want to miss any of my future uploads again thank you guys so much for watching thank you to Cam for joining me here on my channel I really enjoyed doing his makeup for him today he's been very very patient it's been really hot in my room today and he's been so patient I think we did this makeup look in about what an hour and a half about. yeah about that and he's been very patient with me I've been trying my absolute best to do a good job on his makeup today and I actually I'm pretty pleased with how it turned out what do you think Cam? I love it yeah yeah awesome <laughs> anyway thank you guys so much for watching I really truly appreciate that you have chosen to spend your time here with us today thank you for watching and I will see you guys in my next video I don't know, did I miss anything? More feathers? No. <laughs> Smile if you like. Smile though. Smile is always good. No way! How do I apply makeup? When you're applying black on your lid, you want to go in really, really lightly because once you go black, you won't go back. Yeah, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Gotta try and defy gravity. <laughs> Closely. <laughs> <laughs> always comes together once you put it. I'm gonna take off my glasses so they don't reflect. So I can't see what we look like. You like it? <laughs> Do I need to say anything, or you? Uh, you can I'll say just, something if you like. I'm just like. gonna. You can just sit there and smile and awesome. like look here instead of up there. So that oh, you're yeah, of making yes. eye contact with the audience. Okay. I'm just gonna de shine my face. Okay. So. Oh my goodness. <laughs> I like that purple. That's you like that? Yeah, it's just a little subtle purple, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. Cam's a very tall person. So when I was filming the intro and the outro, I had to sit on that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just gonna <laughs> take some photos. Hey, okay, so be sure to turn on that. <laughs> Every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, so be sure. <laughs> 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 this is all the parts that I cut out. <laughs> <laughs>